Um, and obviously I read it and there was a lot of uh, physical stuff and not like I'm good with running and all that. That's not a problem. I mean like nudity and sexuality and um, and when I read it, it to me it wasn't... Uh, it needed to be a very comfortable sort of physicality um, in like any sex scenes or anything like that with Dawn. It needed to be something that was really kind of unconscious, um, which is incredibly confronting because, you know, I mean, not that we didn't, we, we've organised the sex scenes and all that very, very specifically and they have to be like that. But I just mean the thing of like, well, if I look like shit, I look like shit. Like it's a shot and it has to be that kind of how I feel is a more European take on cinema where it's, it has to be less self-conscious and, and also this idea of how we tell stories through nudity and we're, I mean, it feels like it comes in waves. I'm not an expert, but how I feel as a woman is that, you know, there was a time in cinema where it was like, everyone's getting naked, there's Alvin Purple and all those sort of films. And it was like, you just get nude in the seventies and, and it was kind of bad, but it was what it was. And then it became very like, if you got nude and as an actress, you weren't respected you know, leading ladies don't get naked. And that was very Hollywood, not in Europe. European cinema has always been different. Now it's got to like Game of Thrones. Your prerequisite when you go for television now is that you will get naked and that you're okay with that. And if you do not show your body, don't even bother turning up for the audition. Um, and that's gratuitous. So it's this idea of, of our bodies are not bad, but it's the way that the story is told. And so what I guess you have to negotiate is what it, how it participates in the story and even more so what the director, the story the director tells because ultimately I can do anything but it's how you know the director sees what that scene is and it was really important to understand that we were seeing the same thing because I don't think it's, I don't think the body should be a bad thing or something I should be embarrassed of. Um, but in saying that, it's taken me a long time to accept my body as a woman. Um, and now I'm in my 30s and it's like, women don't get naked in their 30s. <laughs> like, you know, like they're all supposed to be pert and whatever. And so of course there's all that sort of shit that I went through. And, and I thought it was very, very important that Dawn isn't self-conscious. Like, she's not even thinking about it. Because it's very, very important that her character is not about... Um, the sex and her sexuality or sensuality, any of that has not, like it's not, it's not something that she's, she's conscious of. I think it's really important. I think that those scenes that I'm talking about that if you see are about what is happening in her mind, very much so. And that, you know, she's battling a lot of demons and each one means something very specific. It's not about, um, it's not about two people coming together and desiring each other. Maybe for the other characters, but I think Dawn is very much inside her own mind. 